How much sugar is in this? Oh, it's not that much sugar. That's pretty good. Oh, hey, <laughs> good to see you. Didn't realize the video started. Hey, have you had this recently? It's pretty good. I just added some of this strawberry Nesquik to my coffee. It's really nice. <laughs> Give that a go. It uh, doesn't even have that much sugar in it. Don't have too much though. So, man, there's been some, some fun, weird stuff going on in the games industry. I thought it'd be interesting for us to sit down and have a talk about it. So I've been seeing news about the Witcher 4 lore master or lore designer, uh, Cian Mar. I'm not sure how to, I'm not really sure how to say his name. So I'm going to roll with that. Um, I don't know. People are, are digging up tweets about this guy and apparently he has a public, publicly expressed his hatred for gamers. Um, he expressed that he wants to perform physical violence upon gamers. Uh, and I was wondering if I should even make a video on that topic, but he's just so boring. There's literally nothing to say about CNMAR. Um, and I don't punch down on children, so I couldn't even write a script together to do a video on CNMAR. So we'll leave it there. It's We don't know if the game is going to be good or bad. I don't want to make judgments before uh, seeing the game in its um, final state where it's released. The game could be great. I don't know. Uh, but I just know that the lore designer for Witcher 4 people are, are upset about it. Um, we'll see what happens. <laughs> but I, I'm sorry about that guy, but he's just too boring for me to talk about. So I wanted to talk about something that would be a bit more interesting and helpful to you. And so we're first going to take a look at Ubisoft's new NFT game, which they recently launched. This is titled Captain Laserhawk the G-A-M-E. Now, uh, Captain Laserhawk the G-A-M-E is an NFT game. It is in the style of a top-down arena shooter, which is just it's a template that you can get on Unity and make uh, for free. It's, it's basically the demo that comes with Unity, and you can make this game in a day. Here are the visuals and the graphics. This is the quality that you would expect from an NFT game. Now, an NFT game is, simply put, it's a way to scam people into paying high dollar values so that they can believe that they own a digital asset, which they can then sell on to other suckers for either a loss or a profit. The owner of the NFT game earns revenue by taking a cut of those transactions. And so that is how Ubisoft views you. That's how they view me. Ubisoft views us as suckers. Why should they put in any work and effort producing a game of any kind of quality when they can scam us with NFT titles like this? So this is Ubisoft's MO. They think that we are just as stupid uh, as they are. Uh, which is unfortunate for them because we are not stupid and we are certainly not going to fall for NFT garbage like this. I've watched a video gameplay of the GAME. I think it was good for them to not actually say that it is a game because it's that would be very generous, a little overly generous and disingenuous. NFT games are not designed to be good. They're not designed to be fun. They are made solely to just trick people into giving them money. They are made without any effort. They are the bare minimum of what is required to present a user with a storefront so that they can scam people and take their money and give them literally nothing in return. So if you enjoy Captain Laserhawk, the G-A-M-E, uh, if you genuinely enjoy that, um, hey, I'm not going to insult you. That's your whole thing. If you enjoy that, enjoy it, you know what? Um, but I strongly recommend that you also try literally any other video game as well. The reason why I'm bringing this up is because I want to share with you uh, an answer to a question that many people have been asking me over the past few months is, you know, how to get started making your own games. The best way to learn game development is to use an assisted tool. An assisted tool is something that does the majority of the heavy lifting for you so that you can focus on just producing a functional game. Something like Game Maker and RPG Maker help you learn that process. You're going to see people online that'll say, oh no, learn coding and learn Unreal and learn Unity first. Those people obviously are not qualified teachers. I am qualified and certified to teach this at Cert4 level in Australia. 
And so this is something that I've considered for a while is how to help people understand it. Using an assisted tool like RPG Maker and Game Maker will allow you to learn the theory of game development, to learn the thought process, the actual workflow of taking an idea, making something functional, and all of those skills will translate into using more fully featured engines like Unity, Unreal, Godot, and others. So let's go ahead and have a look. First, we'll just quickly look at Game Maker. Using Game Maker is a great starting point, but it's not as easy and fast as learning with RPG Maker because you have to provide your own audio and visuals. You can go to the digital storefront for Game Maker, and that can help you get started in creating your games, but you do have to create all of your own game logic. You do not need to know a programming language ahead of time. You can use a drag and drop interface to create all of your game logic. And you can make fully featured games of many different genres and styles using Game Maker. It is a free download. I'll put the link in the description. Next, we'll have a look at RPG Maker MV. This is an excellent option because it is highly fully featured. You don't have to do any programming. You don't know, need to know a programming language. It includes all the audio and visuals, but of course you can supply your own audio and visuals. You can deploy to a number of different uh, platforms. And there is a character creation system where you can create the faces uh, and sprites using their built-in creation system, which is very good. You can have your own characters. And this is in very visually driven to where you can easily learn how to create your own game logic and to take your ideas and put them into a functional game. So I strongly recommend trying this product. This is Australian dollars. I believe it's $12 in US dollars. So this is would be an excellent way to start it. I strongly recommend checking this out while it's on sale. There are other versions of RPG Maker. Now, uh, this developer also creates Pixel Game Maker, which I am going to purchase for myself and start using it. So if I deem that it is uh, worth helping people learn this, then I will go ahead and create some tutorials on that. But first, I'm going to try it for myself. I personally would not use this for any of my own projects because I use uh, Unity and other fully featured game engines for that and for older game consoles. I use SDKs that are designed specifically for older game consoles. But this looks like a version of RPG Maker, but for different styles of games. Let's just very quickly, we'll just run this and see what kind of games we can create with uh, Pixel Game Maker. So let's see. Seems we can create uh, these sort of uh, side scrolling action games. We can employ visual styles and make it look like Game Boy, which is very cool. This is actually my first time uh, taking a look at this. I've not used this myself. I have used RPG Maker extensively, but I haven't used this one. So this looks pretty cool. I will put the link to this in the description, of course, and it is on sale right now. This is an incredible price. Again, this is Australian dollars. So that would probably be about $15 US. I would strongly recommend using this because this developer, they are very good at creating drag and drop interfaces to help people quickly make their games. So again, I haven't used this, but based on what I know from this developer, I've used a number of their software before. This looks like it would help players create their games without needing any programming knowledge. Uh, and it says that it's powerful enough for pros, but simple enough for beginners. This uh, looks great. And lastly, we'll take a look at SRPG Studio. This is something that I might try just to see if it's any good. And if I think that it would be good for people who want to learn game development, then I will create videos on that. But if this looks interesting to you, please let me know in the comment section because I'm a huge fan of strategy RPG games. Uh, and it's it's kind of weird that I actually haven't done a strategy RPG game myself yet. And I've launched, you know, about a dozen titles commercially uh, and none of them are strategy RPG titles. And I'm starting to realize that I would really like <laughs> to do a game in this style. But you can see that the visual interface here helps you create all of your characters, your maps, your game logic very easily. And you can just use this what you see is what you get editor. You control all of your character stats in a very visual way. And the games look cool. I'm, I would play a game that looks like this, you know, and 
Um, of course, you can supply all of your own uh, visuals and your audio, but it does come with everything that you need to create your own game completely. So I hope this looks interesting to you. Uh, and again, it's on sale, so I'll put the link to all of these in the description. Okay, now I hope that was interesting and useful to you, and the whole point of me showing this to you is that Ubisoft's latest NFT thing is garbage. That is complete and utter disposable trash. And you can make a better game than that. Even as a beginner, you can make something way better than Captain Laserhawk the G-A-M-E. Try these. Game Maker's totally free. Try RPG Maker. Try Pixel Game Maker. Try SRPG Studio. I'm not sponsored by any of these, uh, but I've just been looking into them. Uh, this is the only one that I just found out about today, but it looks it looks like it's very good. Um, and I'm confident that you can make something better than Captain Laserhawk, the GAME, because that is a commercial product with absolutely no passion or care behind it. And you, as a gamer, I've been hearing from all of you in the comments, you're a gamer like me, you care about good games, you care about something interesting that's driven by passion and creativity and fun. And I know that you can create something like that based on what I've read in the comments. You do not need game development experience to use RPG Maker or SRPG Studio. So get in there, I'll put the links in the descriptions. Make the games of the future, because we do not need studios like Ubisoft anymore. What we need is people like you. All right, take care of yourselves. I'll see ya. Merry Christmas.